Hello dickheads, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd carry on the train of brain dead siblings on the internet, so here, here we are with the Dobro brothers. Now I thought this time I'd try and do a little bit more of a breakdown of their channel rather than the normal bullshit that I normally do, which is just watch one video, waffle, and do f all. So what I really wanted to make this video to do was to actually show you how much their channel's changed. So obviously he used to do the classic YouTube stuff, never have I ever, he, he clickbaited with a girlfriend a little bit, didn't have one for very long, but obviously the classic YouTube bullshit burned out about four years ago so there is nothing else he can squeeze any more views out that was mallow so there's obviously nothing else he can squeeze <laughs> okay. so there's nothing else he can squeeze any more views out in that sense but he's transitioned onto complete clickbait now absolutely everything in his titles is completely outrageous and i love it so we're going to take a quick dive and we're going to break the shit down let's go now there are three things which he mainly revolves his clickbait around nowadays and we're going to go through them as the video goes on and as you can imagine the three things are a great mix of everything you should combine uh, violence, sex, and 11 year old girls. I'm not joking. <laughs> so, this guy's actually been incorporating, well, these guys have actually been incorporating their 11 year old sister in videos and sexualizing her in videos such as um, Our little sister has a boyfriend, our little sister is pregnant, we found our little sister with a hickey. Now, this is awful. <laughs> now, I didn't know if I could use the word sexualized, um, but I looked it up and apparently it literally means anything that didn't associate with sex, which now does. And in my case, little children have always been his <laughs> Move on. Now I'm going to do the classic viewer thing and watch the video which grabbed my attention the most. I want to watch the pregnant one. That's not weird, is it? What's up, bro? What's going on? Did, uh, did Demi hit you up about the surprise she had? Oh yes, and I completely, definitely, deliberately forgot to mention their sister is 11 years old. <laughs> At 11, you should be playing with fucking Barbies, but don't get me started. Or me. <laughs> okay, I gotta chill with the pedophile jokes. She told us to go meet up in front. Apparently, she had a surprise for everyone. What? What well, surprise? I don't know. She got a surprise for us? I guess so. Am I the first one that knows? I guess so, yeah. As you can see, the acting is still absolutely 10 out of 10 top notch. You know, I'm sold that they got their 11 year old daughter pregnant at 10 and then waited till she was nine months pregnant just to make one video on it and pull about 2 million views. I reckon that's true. Fucking losers. <laughs> what are you even surprises? I'm scared. I don't know, bro. I mean, last time you know what happened, so. <laughs> oh no, they're not talking about the boyfriend video. I should have got paid more for that video. That's not funny. Please don't lock me up. It was a joke. Much like everything that exits my scran hole in videos, it was a joke. Move on. Hopefully there's nothing crazy. Yo, Demi, you okay? What's going on? Why is Steve filming this right now? You remember what I told you, right? What? A surprise. Yeah, what's the surprise? Is everything okay with you? You could say that. Well, she's not a better actor than him that's all i can say fuck that oh i hate this i've got a spot here like right like in that little fold and it fucking hurts so every time i touch my nose it really hurts i was so irrelevant but you know that now so you could say that well, what? what chicken butt oh! the fuck did he say i'm so, i've watched that back twice i have no idea what he said you could say that well, what? what chicken butt oh! chicken butt what does that mean? What? what? Chicken butt? Oh! No, not uh -huh. chicken butt. <laughs> but a different kind of butt. What did he what say? What kind of butt? What does that mean? Oh my god! You're pregnant? What are you- that doesn't- does that make sense? I don't know things. Does it make sense? Since when? Yo, since when? Me genuinely wondering how they managed to do that. Did they just feed her like 10,000 calories and like make her shove her stomach out or like- Cause I can do that. Give me four cheesecakes in 25 minutes and I can look like that. I actually don't. Don't do that. It's a horrific sight. Either way. <laughs> I mean, they got a load of money, so they could have got, like, one of the big, high-quality fake bellies. I want a cheesecake now. But, yeah, that that's obviously fake. But I genuinely am wondering how the shit they've done that. Uh, yo, Demi, you can't be fooling around like that. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm genuinely horrified. I'm laughing how bad the acting is, but I am horrified. Now he's been jumping on the train which has been used for like over 10 years on YouTube and that's using your girlfriend as clickbait. Now he's absolutely milked that titty dry. There is nothing else he can do with his girlfriend, but apparently he's still doing stuff. So how is that even possible? Now obviously he's run out of video ideas where he can include tits in the thumbnail. So now he's leveled up to including her throwing up in the thumbnail. Not joking, look at that thumbnail. I mean, it's, it's Photoshop, but still, no. 
But I just realized that I don't actually want to watch that video because I want to see some tits. So let's go back to some old videos and I'll give you some examples of when he's used his girlfriend in the thumbnail. Uh, for videos such as hot versus cold couple pool challenge, good excuse to get his girlfriend in a bikini. Respect. That respect is purely from the standpoint that I don't get any women in bikinis or women, full stop. However, it works. So you got to give him credit for that. It works. Uh, this one's actually my favorite. Ex-boyfriend would not leave without a kiss. That one make me laugh because that, that dude is fucking huge. I don't, it's just funny. I, I can't even say why it's just funny it's just it's just fucking meme edge that's all this channel is now it's meme edge so i'll move on to the third and final very much less exciting uh clickbait uh clickbait thing he's been using to get a lot of views i butchered that um violence <laughs> a wild cat attacked me a monkey attacked my girlfriend vicious dog attacked me my girlfriend got hurt and then if you go down there's just more and more absolute bullshit videos about him beating his girlfriend or them getting attacked by wild animals in a forest i don't even know what's going on i actually want to see this because when you really think about it what can you actually include in a video called that if that didn't happen? What can you actually put in it? You can't, there's nothing. It's just gotta be a vlog where you've somehow managed to put that title and it not be 100% clickbait because it has some truth to it without being exactly what the thumbnail said. Pictured? I don't know if I can know. Yo, you won't believe what I found in the woods. It's just a flipped car in the background, that's normal. Lucas just pulled up, I can't wait to tell him what I found. It's crazy. Really? Yeah. I'm like a, I'm like an animal hunter now. Bro, yeah. What are you guys up to today? I just found a crazy animal in the woods. And I captured him. What is it, a bear or something? Nah, don't be bringing crazy animals inside the house. Bro, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Kids fall for this shit. I love it. I could lap this content up for like four hours straight. It's so great. <laughs> that is the loudest door. Uh, Marcus, I don't see anything, is he? Where'd you get this cage from? Marcus being like an animal guy. Yeah, bro. Oh, he's right here. Check. Oh, shit. Okay, so they lost it. That, that was the gist of the video. They found the cat, they put it in the house, they lost it. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> what is it now? Uh, it looks like uh, I found a, uh, like a cheetah looking cat in the woods and I just decided to capture him. But I don't know, he just looks vicious a little bit. Uh, what, do you, what do you mean, like cheetah? Is it uh, it got me. Oh, it's fake. It's fucking fake. Get the fuck out of here. No one believe in your shitty acting. Please, por favor. Stop it. Don't know why my leg came up. It doesn't matter, does it? It's not important. What's important is the fact that... No, nothing's important. We're all gonna die. But while I'm here, I might as well finish the video. <laughs> that cat's mouth did not have the diameter range of that... of, of the... of the... of the wound. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, I've had good fun. That has been 20 minutes of my life absolutely fucking wasted. And the next hours, the next hours eight will also be wasted editing this. No, it wasn't. I love making videos. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. And next video, I don't know, fucking watch it. Eh? <laughs> we just chill out. We have fun. We have a good time. Bye. Yeet.